It is useful, and as we have shown in a previous how-to guide, it is easy to embed videos in the web space of your classes. But since there are many good videos on the web, you may want to present your students more than one video about your subject. The way to do so is creating custom players. A custom player is a tool to present a set of videos, a playlist for example, to your students. It is a piece of code embedded in your web page or blog post. You create this code on your YouTube account. To create a playlist, look for the button Add To, which is shown below each video once you are logged into your YouTube account. Click on it, and you get the option to add the video to your favorites, the option to add it to a queue for later viewing, or to add it to a playlist. We choose this last option to create the playlist Physics Experiments and add this video to our playlist. By the way, if you have many playlists, you will have to scroll to the bottom of your list to create a new one. We go to another video about a physics experiment, look for the Add To button and add this video to our existing playlist. Let's move to a third video and add it to the playlist too. There is a little problem with the custom player on YouTube at this time. You are not pointed to the player by any link in your YouTube account, so you have to enter the URL of the page into the address bar of your browser. Type youtube.com slash custom underscore player and move to that page. Enter a name to identify your player. This information will not be shown to users but only serves to let you find your player again if you want to change it later. Choose a color you like and a layout. We will show the difference between the two layout options in a minute. I prefer the second option since it displays more of the content of your player. Now choose which videos should be shown. We mark our newly created playlist in the menu and click Select. We finish by clicking on Generate Code. The page reloads and here is our code. Let's copy this code and move to our blog to embed our custom player. We create a new blog post, insert the title, and embed the code. We can also add a task assignment to our students. We save our post, and that's it. In the main section of the player, you see the first video. In the layout we chose, the player displays its content in a sidebar. I have added some other videos, so our playlist contains more than 8 videos now. I can move between the pages of our playlist using the arrows at the bottom right of the player. We can change the display of this sidebar to show only one video, its description and options to share this video. Once you have started a video, the player plays all videos of your playlist. You can move forward and backward. To navigate through your playlist, you can also use these arrows at the left and right of the player window. Let's look at the second option for your player's layout now. We return to YouTube and see that the page we created our player with is still open. We click Finish and get this list of our custom video players containing only one player at this time. Now let's create another one. We choose the same options as before, except for one. This time we take the first layout. Again we copy the code and insert it in our blog post, right below the other player. We save the post and here is the second player. 
The navigation is reduced to the arrows at the left and right of the player. Moving our mouse over the player, we can display thumbnails of our videos and click on any one of them to start it. As of now, our player contains 11 videos since I have added two meanwhile. Let's add another one. On YouTube I found this video. I just click the Add To button and add the video to our physics experiments playlist. Now we switch back to our blog post and reload the page. We move to the second page of our player's contents table and look! The video has been added not only to the playlist but also to our player. <laughs>